Hello everyone, welcome to School of Assam. Today we shall learn chapter number six, that is triangle class 10. And we shall learn about the following topics. And these topics are similarity of triangle, basic proportionality theorem, and application of basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem. Basic proportionality theorem is also known as Stiles theorem. Okay, so now we'll move to the our now we'll move to our topic. Okay, so see here introduction of triangle. All of you know. All of you know. All of you know that a triangle is area enclosed by three sides. Triangle is area. All of you know that a triangle is area enclosed by three sides. Okay. Suppose this is a triangle. Okay. And what about this? Is this a triangle? Is this a triangle? No, because the area is, is not enclosed. Air area is not this portion is not enclosed. Okay, so also you have studied. Also you have studied types of tri tri triangles. Also you have studied types of triangles in terms of. in terms of side as well as in terms of in terms of angle okay so in terms of side in terms of sides there are all you know that in terms of sides in terms of side In terms of side, there are equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle, that is triangle, triangle having equal sides, isosceles triangle, isosceles, isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle and equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle and scalene triangle and scalene and scalene triangle and scalene triangle and triangle. This is all what you have studied in your previous classes. Now in terms of angle there are in terms of in terms of angle triangles in terms of angle equitable triangle equitable Number two, obtuse angle triangle, obtuse angle, triangle, a right angle triangle, etc. A right angle triangle. This is what all you have studied. Okay. So now in this chapter, our next topic is our next topic is congruency of triangle. Congruency of our next topic is congruency of triangle. Congruency of triangle. 
So, ayan. You can see, congruency triangle. So, what do you mean by congruent figures? Si congruent figures. Congruent figures. Two figures are said to be congruent if they have the same shape and the same size. That is, all the corresponding parts are equal. Suppose, suppose, suppose this is a triangle having all sides equal. Suppose this is an equilateral triangle. Okay. And there is another equilateral triangle, suppose, and we will mark it as A, B, C, and we will mark it as P, Q, R. So, suppose this is 3 centimeter, this is 3 centimeter, this is 3 centimeter. Also, this is 3 centimeter, this is 3 centimeter, and this is 3 centimeter. These two triangles are equal. Why? Because corresponding parts are equal and corresponding angles are equal. So, yeah, this, this, yes, this is equilateral triangle. So, each angle is 60 degree. So, angle A is equal to what? Angle B is equal to 60 degree. Angle B is equal to angle Q, 60 degree. Angle C is equal to angle R, 60 degree. That means corresponding angle are equal. And AB is equal to PQ, SE is equal to PR. And BC is equal to Q1. So these two triangles are congruent. And we will say that we will represent the congruent triangle like this. This is the symbol of congruency. This is the symbol of congruency. Okay. So now we'll move to our next topic. Our next topic. So here you can see that uh, here you can see that this uh, two equilateral triangle are congruent. These two circular congruent. These two squares having all sides equal are congruent. Okay. Our next topic is similarity. Okay. Suppose. Suppose uh, similarities, what do you mean by similar figure? Two figures having the same shape, not necessarily the same size, are similar figure. Suppose this one is similar to this one. All square are similar. All square are similar. Okay. All square are similar. All square. All squares are similar. Similarly, this uh, this circle, all circles are similar. All circles are similar. All circles are similar. Because if we put this square within this square, even if we enlarge it, to enlarge it, it will take this shape. It, it, it can take the shape of this square. Okay. Similarly, if we put this square in this square, and if we enlarge it, it can shape. It can Take shape of this square. So this square similar. Similarly, if you put this circle within this circle, and this if this circle takes shape of this circle, then we will say that these two figures are similar. Suppose if we draw a circle like this, if we draw a, suppose this is not a circle but this ellipse, and if you put it within this circle, and it will not take to enlarge it. If you enlarge it, it will not take the shape of this circle. So we will say that these two figures are not. Similar. These two figures are not similar. Okay. So all circles are similar. All circles are similar. All squares are similar. So if you put them within the big one, and if we if we enlarge it, it will take the same shape of that big one. Okay. So now we'll move shall, we shall move to our next topic. Our next topic is. Our next topic is see this one. Suppose uh, see we have put this circle within this big one, and if we enlarge it, it will take shape of this circle. So these are similar, right? Similarly, if we put this one, now we have put this one, we have put this one within the big square, 
it will depend if you enlarge it. If you enlarge this, if you enlarge this one, this one, it will take shape of this big square. So these two are similar. Similarly, this equilateral triangle. All equilateral triangle are all equilateral triangle are similar. All equilateral triangles are similar. Okay. Now, what about this thalamol? Yes, this thalamol is similar. We have charged reduce size of this thalamol by reducing aspect ratio. By reducing aspect ratio. Okay. So these two thalamol are similar. These thalamol are similar. This uh, this one is similar to this one. This one is similar to this one. This one is similar to this one. Okay. These all are similar. All circles are similar. All squares similar. All equilateral triangles are similar. Okay. Now we shall move to our next topic. See now check. What about this? What about these two figures? A, B, C, D, and P, Q, R, S. Right? Now, this figure, these two figures appear to be similar, but we cannot be certain about it. See that. Uh, sorry, it should not be triangle. It should be rectangle. It should be rectangle. This, these two rectangles appear to be similar, right? But we are not certain about it. Why we are not certain about it? We cannot be certain about it. Why? Because the corresponding angle, we don't know. We don't know the value of corresponding angle. We don't know the value of, of A and P. Similarly, we don't know the value of P and S because the corresponding angle of D is S. And we also don't know the value of corresponding angle C and R. We also don't know the value of corresponding angle P and Q. So we are not similar. We can't say that it's similar, right? We are not sure. And we also don't know the ratio of this side, AB and PQ. Okay. Ratio of the corresponding side, AB and PQ. Ratio of the corresponding side, AD and PS. Ratio of the corresponding side, PC and QR. So we are not sure about it. Okay. Now, the important point is the same ratio of the corresponding side is referred as the scale vector or the representative vector. Suppose, suppose this is a triangle and this is 3 and this is 4 and this is 5. Suppose there is another triangle and this is 6, this is 8, this is 10. Now, if we divide 3 by 6, which is 1 by 2. Right, the corresponding side of this side of this is this. Now, if we divide 5 by 10, we'll get 1 by 2. If we divide 4 by 8, we'll get 1 by 2. Right, that means that means what this triangle are similar and this 1 by 2. Same ratio, right? Same ratio of the corresponding sides, same ratio of the corresponding side is referred as scale vector or representative vector. Okay. This is referred as scale vector or representative vector. Now see, all congruent figures are similar, but the similar figure needed to be congruent. Why? Because, because, see, here you can see, why all congruent figures are similar? See, suppose this is a triangle, the triangle, congruent triangle, right? The two congruent triangle, suppose A, B, C, and P, Q, R. P, Q, R. Suppose, suppose these are two congruent triangles. Okay. So, here all corresponding part of A and P is equal. A and P is equal. P and Q is equal. C and you will see an angular is equal, this corresponding angular is equal. Suppose that AB is equal to AB by PQ. AB by PQ is equal to SC by PR is equal to PC by QR. Okay. So 
what is the value is equal to 1 because all parts are equal a b is equal to what p q right corresponding parts are equal that means the uh, scaling vector will be 1 okay so this is also satisfying also a also angle a is equal to angle p angle b is equal to angle q and angle p is equal to angle r right that means this congruent figure is also similar right but what about the similar figures? Are they also congruent? No. Why? Why they are not? No, we'll check. Suppose these two figures are similar. Suppose K, L, M, N, O, K. Suppose these two figures are similar. That means what? That is angle K is equal to angle N, angle L is equal to angle O. Our angle four. Okay. So what? This is our angle four. And what angle M is equal to angle L, right? But what about if this are similar? Suppose then it will be what? Then um, let me draw here. Let me draw here. Then it will be what? L K by N O. L K by N O equal to K M by N Q equal to L M by O Q equal to some ratio, right? But here you will get that A B is equal to P Q to consider this part. C A B is equal to one. That means what? A B is equal to PQ, that means all parts are equal, but in case of this, suppose LK, suppose in case of this, suppose, suppose uh, here LK by N or is equal to K, that is some constant, that means LK is equal to what? K into N or that means this side not equal to this side, okay, but this side will be this side will be equal to this side when it will be multiplied by some constant okay some scaling factor okay so this is the meaning of that all congruent triangles are similar but the similar figure need not to be congruent hope it is clear to everyone okay now let's next move to the let's move to the next topic our next topic is what it's now set at this similar at this two similar see see here Corresponding angle 85, here is also 85, okay, here it is 70, here it is 70, here it is 105, here it is 105, here it is 100, and here it is also 100. That means angles are equal, corresponding angles are equal, not check the ratio of the corresponding side. Corresponding side is what? A B by what? PQ. A B by PQ. PC by QR, PC by QR, CD by CD by RF, and BA by FP. Now let, let's check with the ratio same for all the corresponding side. So here AB by PQ means what? AB is what? It is 1.5 PQ C. So it is 1.5 by 3. Similarly, BC is 2.5, QR is 5, CD is 2.4, and RS is 4.8. Now DA is equal to what is the value of DA? It is 2.1 and SP 4.2. Now we will we'll see that it is 1 by 2, it is also 1 by 2, oh, it is also 1 by 2, it is also 1 by 2, right? Corresponding angular equals, corresponding angular equals, right? Corresponding angular equals, and also the ratio of the corresponding side is same, right? 1 by 2, 1 by 2, that means these two figures are similar, these two figures are similar, yes. I hope it is clear, now we will move to our next topic. Okay. 
and our next topic is let's check for this let's check for this okay let's check are these two figures similar or not let's see all the sides are 90 degree right all the sides because these are two rectangles so angles are equal right no doubt angle a is equal to angle a is equal to angle b right angle b is equal to angle q angle c is equal to angle r angle d is equal to angle s all equal to 90 degree right corresponding angle okay. now let's check side let's check side a b the corresponding side is what pq a b by pq b c by q r C D by R S and also D A by S P. Now what is the value of D by 3.5? D by 3.5 B C. Value of this is 3. Q R is also 3. C D is what? 3. R S R is uh, R S is 3.5. D A. D A is 3 and S P is 3. So in, in this case, in this case, this is one, and in this case, it is zero point something. Okay, zero point something. So in this case, so ratio is not equal. Scaling factor is not equal. That's why these two figures are not similar. These two figures are not similar. I hope it is clear to everyone. Okay. Now we shall move to our next topic. Now we shall move to our next topic, and it is C. Now let's check for this. Let's check for this. Here, C corresponding angle. We, we don't have. We don't need to check uh, sides, right? Because corresponding angles are not equal. Here, all these angles are ninety degree, and here there is one obtuse angle, right? Okay. So, and even 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 if we take uh, sides C here, two point one, right? Here it is four point two. That means what? It is here. Uh, it is ratio is what sides are equal. Yeah, the those filling factor is same. But what? Two point one by four point two. That means what? One by two. That right? In this case also it will be one by two. In this case also it will be one by two. In this case it is also by two. But what? Corresponding angles are not equal. That's why this this figure is not similar. These two figures are not similar. These two figures are not similar. Okay, now we shall move to the next topic. Now we shall move to our next topic. See, now we shall do all of us will do exercise. So, here it is said that um, all circles are what all circles are similar. All circles are similar. Why similar? Because suppose this is a circle, this is another circle. So, all circles are similar. All squares are also similar. Okay. Here it will be similar. All squares are also similar. All circles are also similar. All triangles, all equilateral triangles are similar. All we have all studied, right? All equilateral triangles are similar. Two polygons with the same number of sides are similar. They will be if their corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are proportional okay so give two different example of pair we have already given similar figures suppose what these are similar figures these squares these are similar figures all equal to triangles similar figures right non similar figures circles and triangles okay circles and uh, what is called rectangles right so these are examples of non similar figures these are example of Similar figure. Okay. Now let's check question number three. State whether the wooden quadrant are similar or not. They are not similar. See, here the ratio is see ratio ratio of the side are same, right? There is scaling factor is same. 1.5 by 3, 1.5 by 3, 1.5 by 3, right? That means ultimately 1 by 2. But corresponding angle are not equal. Corresponding angle are not equal. Okay. 
corresponding angular not equal to zero. Because the, we don't know the corresponding angle, the value of corresponding angle, so we are not certain about uh, the equality of corresponding angle. Okay, so we state that these two figures are not similar. Okay, this is because this is. These two figures are not similar, right? No, this is what this is rhombus. Rhombus what? Rhombus all side is equal, right? And opposite opposite angles are equal. Opposite angles are equal, right? It is not 90 degree. Okay, so that's why these two two figures are not similar. Numbers and squares are not similar. And now we shall move to our next topic. And this is similar to triangle. What is the criteria for the two triangle to be similar? The criteria for two triangle to be similar is that corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are in the same ratio. Okay, suppose so this is one triangle, this is the one side of triangle, this is another side, and this is another side. Okay, and suppose this is one triangle, okay, and these are the two triangles, these are the two triangles, and this is suppose A, this is B, this is C, this is P, this is Q, this is R. Okay, the corresponding angle of equal means what? Angle A should be equal to angle B. Angle value of angle B should be equal to angle Q. And angle C should be equal to angle R. Okay. And what? The corresponding side are in the same ratio. That is, AB by PQ should be equal to SC by PR should be equal to BC by QR. Okay. That is, that should be proportional. That should be proportional. Okay. Then we will say that these two triangles are similar. Okay. This is the criteria for the two triangles to be similar. Now, there is the important point. If corresponding angular of two triangles are equal, then they are known as two angular triangles. Suppose if angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q. If angle A is equal to what? Angle P. Angle B is equal to what? Angle Q. And angle C is equal to what? Angle R. Okay. That means corresponding angular equal, then this would, then they are known as equiangular triangle. They are known as equiangular triangle. Equiangular triangle. That is triangle seven string. Equal corresponding angle. Okay. They are known as equivalent triangle. I hope it is clear. Next point is that the ratio of any two corresponding side is the same, right? So the ratio of so if, if this is equivalent triangle, that is the ratio of corresponding sides. So this is the corresponding side of into equivalent triangle. The ratio will be always same. The ratio will be always same, right? This is what, what you will get in uh, exercise 2 that angle angle criteria. If the ratio of or angle angle criteria, if the ratio of two triangles, if the angles of uh, triangles, corresponding angle of triangles are equal, then uh, the ratio of the corresponding sides is also the same. Okay, this is what, this is what we will get in next chapter. Now we will move to our next topic, and it is. Activity to understand Thales theorem. See, this is his, this man is Thales. This Thales is a Greek mathematician born in 640 BC, 40 BC, and died in 540 BC. That means around 2500 years ago, he has given a theorem. Okay. And 
Now we will try to understand the theory. Okay. This activity is to understand the basic probability theorem or Tails theorem or Tails theorem. Tails theorem. Okay. Now let's try to understand the basic probability theorem. Suppose there is a line. Okay, and there is suppose another line. Right. Suppose there is suppose another line, and suppose this is A, and this is suppose X, and this is suppose Y, a Y line. Now we will mark a Y line in such a way that all the units are equal, okay? Such a way that all the units are equal. Suppose, suppose this is one, suppose this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E, this is F, and this is G, this is H, J, K. And A B is equal to what? A B is equal to B C is equal to C D is equal to what? D E, that is all units are equal. D E is equal to what? D e F equal to G H equal to J K. All the units are equal. Okay. Now, if we join a line, if we join a line, from K to return it to points. So suppose this point is suppose this point is L. If we just join this point, L is the uh, L point is on the line A or X or X. Okay. And suppose if we join this two point, right? So it will form a triangle. Now if we join any point, suppose uh, if suppose there is a point, okay. So now if we draw from from B, suppose if we draw a line which is parallel to this scale, which is parallel to this scale, which is parallel to this scale, which is parallel to this scale. Suppose if we draw a line D E or E F, any line you can draw, which is parallel, but it should be parallel to that scale. We will observe that. What we will observe? We will observe that suppose here what is the ratio of D at B one unit, two unit, three unit, right? So a D so so a D by DK, a D by DK. What is one unit, two unit, three unit, right? That means a B a D is sorry, that means should be a D. That means a D is three. What is DK? One unit, two unit, three unit, four unit, five unit, six unit. P by six. That means ratio of this side will be what? One by two. Now, if we measure, suppose this point is suppose M. Now, if we measure the length of AM by scale and length of ML, right? We will measure. If we will measure length of AM and length of ml you will see that it is also maintaining this ratio this one by two ratio okay you measure you will see that this am and ml is also m by ml is one by two that means this side is also maintaining this ratio okay this is the activity which we have done to understand ppt basic proportionality theorem or sales theorem okay <clears throat> now let's move to Next topic for theorem 6.1. Now let's move to next topic. Okay. Now let's move to next topic. And this theorem 6.1, I'll explain in a very lucid manner. You just try to understand and grasp it. Grasp it. Okay.
the spray on the stand. What is said? Suppose let's first understand your if a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, that means you should first need to draw a triangle. Let's draw a triangle. Suppose this is one, this is one side of triangle, and this is another side. Okay. Now if we draw this is that side of this triangle. To, we need to okay, suppose this is a triangle. Okay? If a line is drawn parallel to if a line is drawn, if a line is drawn parallel to So if a line is drawn parallel to one side of triangle, okay, to intersect other two sides in distinct point. If a line drawn, so now we'll draw parallel line. Okay, suppose now we will draw a parallel line. Okay, suppose okay, let's mark this triangle. Suppose this triangle is this is a this is B, and suppose this is C. Okay, so if a line is if a line is drawn parallel to one side of the triangle, it intersect the other two sides in distinct point. And suppose this this is the line intersecting. This is the line which is parallel to BC and intersecting AB and AC to distinct point. Okay, and suppose suppose this is B. And suppose this is E. Okay, so D is parallel to BC, which is given, right? D is parallel to B, and we say that then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. That means what other two sides what A B and AC. So we need to prove that A B by B D is equal to A by BC. This is what we need to prove. Okay. So now, now suppose now right let ABCBA triangle let ABCBA triangle and EE is the line. Which is this is the line which is parallel to PC. This is the line which is parallel to parallel to PC. Okay. Which is parallel to B PC. This is the line which is parallel to PC. Now we need to put that. We need to prove that a d by d b is equal to a by b c is equal to a by b c. This is what we need to prove. Okay, so we'll construct first. Construct construction. Will construct okay. Let's construct what we will do. First, we will draw and then we will write it. What we will draw? We will join B and E. We will join. Take another color is better for it to be on the construction part. Join B and E. Then we have joined C 
and D. Okay, and what you'll do also, we'll draw altitude of the triangle AD. Suppose from D, we'll draw a line which is perpendicular to, suppose this line from D, let me erase it. Let me erase it because the diagram is not clear. Okay, this is one altitude. Okay. Suppose, suppose this is this is our M. So DM perpendicular to A. Similarly, we will draw another altitude from the triangle ADE. This is another triangle and suppose this is yeah. Okay. EL perpendicular to A D and DM perpendicular to A. So let's write what we've done. Wait, what have you done? So, and B comma E and C comma T. This is what we have given, right? Also draw PM perpendicular to A. And E N E N perpendicular to A D. Okay, so we have you have joined the drone now. Okay, now it's we'll prove it. Now we'll prove it. Now see area of triangle. Which is dependent by like this, right? Okay. Area of triangle ADE. What can you write? Up into, right? See, if you write, if you consider ADE as base, then EN is altitude, up into base is altitude, right? Up into ADE into EN. Similarly, also we can write up into, if you consider AE as base, up into AE into DM. If A is our base, then DM is already okay. So this is suppose number one. This is number one. Similarly, area of triangle PDE. What it will be half into what is our BD is base half into BD. What is the altitude of the triangle BD? It is EN. It's nothing but EN. So mark this as now area of triangle what now we'll do area of triangle so till bd now we'll break ced ced will do what up into what is our altitude up into c c is our base and altitude is what our here so mark this as equation number three right now Now, what to that one divided by two? Question one is if you divide question one by two, you will get that area of triangle, area of triangle AD by area of triangle BD. What is AD? AD is half into. AD into 
TN. BD it is up into BD into TN. Okay. Now this TN will get cancelled out. Yes. Now this TN will get cancelled out. And how about full character? So we will get what? We will get ADY VD. We will get ADY VD. Okay. So now, we divide 1, we divide when 1 by 3, we will get, we will get area of triangle AD by area of triangle CED. So what is AD? The primary is now why we are taking this we'll take this why because there is there is there is what there is sorry sorry one kind of error here in the case of cd is the triangle cd dm will be the dm will be the sorry dm will be the um, altitude okay DM will be the altitude. Okay. Now why you are taking a D area? Now we will take now we will take this area. See, when we divide one by two, we have taken this area. Why? Because N is common, that DM and DM is common, right? So it gets cancel out. So we will take this area, okay? Area in terms of DM. Now what is it? You can write that half into A into DM about area of CD, you can write half into C into DM. This DM, DM will get cancelled out, then we will write that A by C. So, this is suppose, mark this as Mark this as number. Suppose four, and mark this as number number five. Okay. Now, see, we have studied in one concept here. We will use those concept that concept that DE DE is parallel to DC, and triangle BDE and triangle DC they have same base. Right? D is the same base for the both both triangles. CD. That means, and they are also within the same parallel line and sharing common base. That means their area will be here, which you have studied in plus nine, right? Therefore, therefore what? BDE, okay? Triangle BDE and area of the triangle CED. Area of the triangle CED. Will be equal. Why? Because they have same base and they are within the same parallel line. Therefore, area of this triangle will be equal. Okay. Now we can write that. Therefore, we can write right the area of BDE equal to area of CED. Right. That means. From four and five, we can also write that. Can you write like this? Area of if area of BD equal to area of CD. You can write like this, right? From four, we can write. But you can write. You can write that. AD because AD and AD is equal to equal and BD is equal to what CD CD. So that means what? This term will be equal to this term. That means AD by BD is equal to what? That means AD by BD equal to A by C. Okay. That means, or you can say A equal, you can say, that means what?
ओरिजिन से एडी बाई सीबी रिजल्ट टू सी बाई सी हंस इट इज टू हंस इट इज टू ओके दिस इज ऑल अबाउट थ्योरम सिक्स पॉइंट वन विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपोर्टेंट ओके एंड देयर इज निमरिकल इन एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट वन बेस ऑन दिस थ्योरम ओके which you need to do i hope it is clear to everyone now we shall move to our next topic now we shall move to our next next topic okay and i will explain theorem 6.2 6.2 This is theorem six point two. The converse of this theorem six point one. Theorem six point two is converse of theorem six point one. Here it is said that that if a line if a line divides any two sides of a triangle, suppose suppose the triangle. Suppose this is a triangle, and suppose it is A to B to C, and suppose if a line divides any two sides of a triangle, suppose the line DE divided the two sides AB and AC. Divided the two side AB and AC the same ratio, then that this line is parallel to the third side. So this is D and E. And it says that if any line divides any two side of a triangle, suppose D E is divided AB and AC in equal ratio, then we need to we need to prove that D E is parallel to BC. This is what we need to prove. Okay. Suppose D E is the line which is divided AB and AC in equal ratio. What is the what does it mean? Means that It should be AD by DB. If AD by DB, if AD by DB is equal to AB by AC, then we need to prove that DE parallel BC. This is what we need to prove. Okay, this is what we need to prove. <coughs> okay, now let's see. Let's prove it. Okay, we will draw the diagram again. Suppose this is suppose this one side of triangle, this is another side, and suppose okay, suppose this is A, this is B, this is C. And suppose D is the line. Which is which is divided? This is the line which is divided. AB and AC the same ratio. Okay. Let let ABC be the triangle. And suppose this is DE. And D is the line which has divided F B M S C in the same ratio. That is A B by sorry. That is A D by D B is equal to A B by E C. We need to prove that. We need to prove that.
we need to prove that P A is parallel to P C. So construction. So suppose D is not parallel to suppose the E is not parallel to E C. So We will draw a line. Suppose we will draw a line we'll draw a line. Suppose D is in the central to BC. We'll draw a line D E dash which is parallel to Okay. Now push. Let's push it. Now this time. So it's given that uh, given that a d by d v is equal to a by e c. Right now, since D E dash parallel to P C, so according to this, since D E dash parallel to P C, so we can write, we can write A D by D B is equal to A E dash by C. Right? We can write like this. A E dash by E dash C. Okay. Why? Since the E dash is since the E dash since the E dash parallel to since the E dash parallel to B C. So, according to BPT, we can write like this, right? We can write a divided into A dash by E dash C. So now, now, now this is suppose our one, question one, this is question two, from one and two, from one. And two, we can write a e by e c equal to a e dash by e dash c. Why we can write because why we can write because a d by d b equal to a e by e c and a d by d b is equal to a e dash by e dash c. So we can write right from one to a e by e c equal to a e dash by it is C, right? Now, now, C. Now, if we add one to both sides, now we add one. Okay, so put the E by this equation. So we can add one to both sides and write like this it is by it is C plus one. What will you get? We'll get that A plus E C by E dash C equal to A dash plus E dash C by E dash C. So this implies this implies this implies.
what does it imply it implies that this implies that what is the meaning of a plus ec a e plus ec what is the meaning of a e plus ec c a e plus ec that is ultimately ac right a plus ec means ac similarly here uh, it is it is c similarly a e dash plus ec a e dash a e dash plus e dash c that means is also ac by e dash c now ac ac will get cancelled and we will get that Now S S will get cancelled, and what can we write? What can we write? Now S E S E S E get cancelled. What can we write? We we'll write in the in that side. See S C and S C will get cancelled now, right? This S E this S E get cancelled. We can write that. Sorry, should be E C not should not be E C. It should be. It should be. Is it also? It should be is it right? So this is easy, right? This is easy, right? So we can write like now. Is it equal to? It is. What is the meaning of is it equal to? It is. That is. That is the point. That is the point. E is the point E dash coincides with. That it means the point E dash coincides with. The point E coincides with the point E. The point E. Therefore. Therefore, E parallel E C rule. Okay, I hope it is clear to everyone. This is our theorem six point one. This is our theorem six point one. Okay, now we shall move to our next topic. I hope it is clear. Our next topic is. Example one. So we'll do example one. We'll try to understand in short. We'll try to understand example one, all the examples, and then we'll move to exercise six point two. Okay. So. It is said that the point of the six point is that if a line intersects sides AB, if a line intersects side AB and AC, suppose, see, this is our triangle AB and ABC, and this is the line AB and AC, right? If a line intersects side AB and AC, then B is the B is the line which has intersected both the side AB and AC at B and E respectively, right? And is parallel to C, and this line is parallel to BC. So prove that AD by A D by A B is equal to A B by C, which is very easy. Is very easy. Just write two. So here, according to this theorem, what we can write since D is parallel to B C, since D is parallel to B C, since B E is parallel to B C, so we can write A D by B B is equal to A by B C according to basic proportionality theorem or Taylor's theorem. You can write like this, right? You can write like this. A D by D B equal to A by C A E C. A D by D B equal to A by C. So because D is parallel to B C, right? 
so we can write like this according to basic unit theorem or phase theorem now if we add one to both side we add one to both side suppose or we can reciprocate it if we can write like this dv by ad is equal to dc by a now adding one to both side now adding One both sides of the question. Both sides of the question. Can we write like this? Dv by at is plus one equal to what? Dc by a plus one. Of two in what dv plus ad by ad here two in what dc plus a by a now see dv plus ad dv dv plus ad is ultimately what ab ultimately what ab similarly ec Plus a ultimately what sc this is our sc by a so now if we reciprocate if we reciprocate it again then we can write like this a d by a b is equal to p e by sc I think I hope it is clear okay. Now we shall move to our next topic. Uh, now we shall move to our next topic, and the topic is okay. Now we shall move to our next topic. Let's clear all the. Uh, that is example number two. That is example number two. This is our example number two. Okay, and this is very. Important also. Let's try to understand it first. Theorem. It is ABCD is a trapezium. So AB, so ABCD is a trapezium with AB parallel, AB parallel BC. Right. This line is parallel to this line. E and F are points on non-parallel side AD, E and BC. These are the two points. Okay. The spec is such that EF is parallel to AB. F is parallel to AB. This F is parallel to now. If if AB parallel BC and also also if F parallel F parallel AB, then we can say that AB parallel F parallel BC. This is what we can say, right? Okay. So this is what that means. What if I said every parallel is BC? Then he said that E and F are such points, such points, such points on the non-parallel side. That is, A, B, and BC are non-parallel side, and E, F, and R two points on these two side. Okay, and E, F is parallel to A, B. Okay, that means what? A, B, A, B parallel, E, F, E, F parallel, B, C, right? Show that A, E by A, E by E, D, A, E by E D is equal to B F by F C is equal to B F by F C. Okay, good. Now prove it. Okay. So to prove it, what shall we draw? We need to construct something. Okay, you have to write that that A B C B A. We can you have to write which is given, right? Like this, that A B C D is a trapezium, and E and F are points on non-parallel side. A D and B C, okay. And given that A F is parallel to A B, also given that A B is parallel to B C, so you have to write. Okay, now try to try to to so prove it. We need to construct some part. Prove it. Suppose if we join from here A to C, if we join, if we join a line, if we join a line, so there is not two triangle A D C and 
A D C M C B A. There is not two triangles. Join A M C. Okay. So now let's let's prove it. Join A and C. Now let's prove it. And suppose this is this point is suppose O. This point is suppose O. Okay. Right. Okay. Since, since a b parallel d c and e f parallel a b, therefore we can write that e f also parallel d c. That is, we can say that e o parallel. You see now applying basic proportion theorem, we can write A E by E D equal to A O by O C. Similarly, you can write from triangle. You need to write here. Here. From triangle ADC, from triangle ADC, you can write like this. What is the logic here? BPT. Okay, this is EO is parallel to BC, right? Okay, you can write like this. Now, similarly, similarly, from triangle. Similarly, from triangle CBA, CBA, you can write we can write BF. Then you can you can write B F is B F by F C. Also, you can write equal to A O by O C. Right? Because O F is O because O F parallel O F parallel A B. F parallel A B right so O F that is that is O F also parallel A B according to B P T so this is our one this is two from one and two from one and two what can we say that A O by A C O F that means we can say that A B by E T is equal to B F by F C Thanks. Thanks. This is proof. Okay. I hope. Why? Why have written this? Because see, it is given E F parallel A B. That means O F is O F also parallel A B. So now we can apply B P T, and we can say that B F by F C, B F by F C is equal to A O by O C. Okay. Now let's move to our next topic. Next topic. Is this is this is very easy. Here in figure six point P S by C is P S P S. This is P S right? Here in figure it is given that P S by S Q S Q and P T by T R given. So that means what? 
according to theorem 6.2 that means st parallel qr that means st parallel qr okay if ps by sq is equal to pt by tr that means according to theorem 6.2 st parallel qr and also is given angle pst this angle equal to prq equal to prq right angle P or Q. This angle equal to this angle. So prove that PQR is an isosceles triangle. Very very easy. It is very very easy. Okay, let's do it. We'll directly prove. It is very very easy. By given given PS by SQ is equal to PT by PR. That means what? That means that is ST parallel QR, right? ST parallel QR. According to theorem six point two, we have proved. Okay. So uh, you write that is the ratio of two sides of a triangle. Which is uh, equal if the, if the ratio of two sides of triangle is equal due to the line ST, then ST is parallel to the third side QR. Okay. okay. This is what we have learned in theorem six point two. That means ST parallel QR. That means now ST ST parallel QR. So we can write like this. So we put PQR is an isosceles triangle, right? PQR. So can we write like this? So we can write like this: angle P S P is equal to angle P Q R, corresponding angle okay. and angle P T S equal to angle P. RQ, same reason corresponding angle. Also, we can write. Also, it is given that angle PST is equal to angle PRQ, which is given in the question. So that means P this this one equal to this one, right? Also, this one equal to this one. We don't need to draw this one. PT is no need to do this one. This one no need to. To it is it now. It is it or this this is going to do. PST PST is going to when PST is going to PST is going to what PQR is going to do and PST is going to PR is going to be met right. So from this is suppose our this is equation one, this is equation two, from one and two, from one and two, sorry. From one and two, we can say that that P Q R equal to P R Q. That means P Q P Q R P R. It is important. This is good. So that means that is triangle. That is that means what? That means triangle P R is an Isosceles, isosceles, isosceles triangle. Is it clear? Is isosceles triangle. Okay. I hope it is clear. Now we shall move to our next topic.